so this was the first generation one plus then we got the one plus x then we got the one plus two not that much of a thing but then we got this the one plus three which was like a very good mobile then we got the t with add-ons like a 16 megapixel front facing camera and a 821 snapdragon and then this year the phone which we are going to talk about now we got it here the one plus five this is the 8 gb variant with the dual camera so let's talk about this. And here is the brand new one plus five so front looks same as one plus three and 3d the back you get the dual camera the flash and the one plus logo rest apart from that you get the alert slider well which is actually a very big thing this alert slider is actually a very good thing then you get the volume keys here and you get the power key here and the same fingerprint sensor one plus says it takes 0.2 seconds let's check yes it is actually quite damn fast the grip on this mobile is actually good compared to this yeah it feels like better holding the oneplus 5 gives you a better confidence in holding the mobile because i drop my mobile a lot i don't know about you and overall the weight of oneplus 5 is less than oneplus 3 yeah it is actually less and the camera well it's actually better the camera is better in this and both of them are a lot better than this this is the oneplus 5 sorry oneplus 1 so let's talk about the specs of this thing thinking about the software we get a lot of stuff but it's basically same to the core like we get android 7.1.1 which is now cut and then we get this advanced menu in which there are few minor tweaks from the oneplus 3 and 3d and that is like you get this game do not disturb in which in your when you're gaming it's only a gaming device nothing else and well you get the standard nfc also in this like you have the nfc you have the tap and pay rest all things are basic things uh the processor actually better 835 compared to 820 and 821 in this then next what you get is 8 gigs of ram compared to 6 in 3 and 3d then what you have is 128 GB internal storage for the 6 gigs wala RAM. Then yeah, it actually runs pretty fast. My hands are wet, that's another thing. But yes, everything is good. You get the autofocus thing here, the night mode, standard night mode, and everything is there. And yes, the best thing about this, there's the dash charge here. Exactly, here it goes, the dash charge. So again, it's actually fast. So apart from that, let me just show you the specs right now. about the camera quality on the oneplus 5 it's actually quite impressive like i'm shooting this inside one more and see this inside of another phone's camera see the clarity i'm gonna share the photos i took while well, this is being shot on a nubia z11 mini the front facing camera of oneplus 5 is actually better than the primary camera of this nubia z11 mini so you can imagine how good a phone is that and well to show you my phone and my face here So well to conclude the oneplus 5 is actually a good phone at 38k it's actually one of our, the best of a money phone and if you are an indian if you are like me and if you want 8 gigs of ram and you're a tech key guy and you want like everything for a cheap rate then i guess this is the go-to phone with such a good camera front facing camera back camera such a good camera i guess huh, this is actually a very good phone bhai tumhare to yahi hai zindagi 3 4 saal chalao isko achhi tarah jio ji bhar ke and uh, i will say but if you are already using a oneplus 3 or 3t to utna bada kuch hai nahi isme to fir i will suggest if you are already using this thing then no need of going for this thing because this will work actually fine the only thing is like a processor in this thing and this thing has got a 3200 mAh 
100 mh less than the one plus 3t this is the 3 so but this thing manages it in the software section because it has got advanced software so it's actually okay you have that phone it's peace you have on this two more gigs of ram good because with this you will get better camera quality and all so what i want to conclude is agar aap chahte ho that you want a phone under 40 kit which can compete with any other phone then this is the go to phone because yaar dekho this thing looks dope if you look at for five look an iphone which is like 2 2x the cost of this so go for this and yeah i will be showing the photos the rendering and everything exposure and everything is good on this phone's camera the primary one is 16 and the secondary is 20 megapixel this is front facing 16 and yeah but the uh, sad part is like if you see there's only one speaker here one you should they should have in on the both sides but the plus point is there's a 3.5 mm jack which majority of the companies are removing so yeah and then this is fast like you won't get any lag or anything you can play games like injustice 2 which lags on my current phone and well everything is like very good on this so yeah this is to go to the phone if you're like this if you're a tech savvy guy and then you get all these panels and everything and if you want you can change the wallpaper widget every all the settings you get so yeah this is a good phone and the battery backup yeah it gives good and then there's a dash charging which will like give you a full day spa i'll make a video on the dash charging time how much time it takes to go from zero to hundred so yeah that will be coming up so and as long as you keep on watching well this is sk78 signing out so i hope you like this tutorial do like it do unlike it if you don't like it do share do give a subscribe yeah